Hello, I would like to introduce you to the Agile Open Container by Huawei. First, I will introduce some industry trends as Huawei sees them. Next, I will introduce some of the key capabilities of the Agile Open Container. And finally, I will show you some reference material that Huawei provide that hopefully will get you started quickly. CLI has served its purpose. It is designed for human interaction. It's not easy to automate. The interface can be context sensitive with lots of machine specific behavior and errors can need human interpretation to decipher. Since the CLI is focused on a single device, network level transactions are not supported and are difficult to reliably automate outside of the device. What network operators want is a move to standardized machine to machine interfaces Configuration defined in a structured way based on a predefined schema. Network transaction based approach with simulation and dry run. And of course, consistency verification. One of the key drivers for that is NetConf and Yang. NetConf has a long history towards adoption. The initial meetings about standardization on a new interface occurred in 2002. The first NetConf standard coming in 2006 and the first Yang definition coming in 2010. They have been incrementally updated since then with a new HTTP-based alternative to NetConf, RESCONF, defined in 2017. While NetConf Yang has been chosen as the next generation way to communicate with devices, there is no universally agreed approach. Some operators mandate simply that the communication and models should be defined using Yang. This has led to a plethora of models and ways of modeling across different vendors and standards organizations. Others specify that standards-based models should be supported, such as OpenConfig and OpenRotom. This is recognized as a problem by the SDOs, and there has been a commitment to converge to a common model by 1F, MEF, TMF, and others. This is in the future. Right now, what operators need is a platform that is open and programmable that can be easily adapted to any of these models. A DevOps or NetOps approach to managing and operating their network is seen as a key strategic goal by tier one operators. In all cases, operators are looking to move from configuring and operating the network to programming and running the network. Move the planning and rollout of network changes from months and weeks to days and even minutes. Using a CI-CD approach to network changes, the goal is to remove the fear of network changes causing network outages, accelerating the velocity operators can respond to their customers' needs by continuously rolling out new and exciting services for their customers. Vodafone has stated their goal is to become a technology-driven company by 2025. They want to provide a network as a platform service that allows applications to be developed and run on the network independently of the network itself. In Vodafone Spain, they have taken the first steps using Python scripts to verify network KPIs, batch modification of network service parameters, and batch rollout of network services. In Vodafone Italy, they have used a macro manager, creating 838 different macros that can be considered maybe a domain specific language and they have used those macros to create 55 programs to be used by their operations team for service creation, operation and troubleshooting. Orange has begun transforming their approach to working by providing training for all employees to help them move to a DevOps programming based approach to network automation. By moving to an API template based approach to the network they can separate concerns and accelerate the end-to-end -end delivery of network changes and new customer services. The AOC platform architecture is divided into two major parts. The driver level, which, which specifies how the AOC will communicate with the third-party device, and the service package, which allows the uh, adaptation um, to a service level API. 
Any's can be discovered and managed and with prepackaged drivers that contain the YAN models required to manage the device. Alternatively, any driver packages can be created and loaded by the operator themselves. Once loaded, a device can be discovered and that device can be managed via the AOC UI or CLI with the UI or CLI commands being auto-generated from the model. Current network element or network state can be used as the basis for a template with configuration that varies by the NE marked as model parameters. Depending on how these model parameters need to be exposed on a northbound, these parameters can be simply added to a service YANG and mapped directly. Or the northbound API can be specified independently in YANG, with any mediation being done using Jinja or for more complex cases using Python extensions to move more complex model manipulation. The key, first key capability that AOC enables is the fast on-site creation and customization of networks and network services. The current approach to development requires heavy vendor involvement, which can take months to complete. AOC enables operators to develop their own automation on-site, reducing time to less than a month. They're they can develop these things themselves. They don't need to contact the vendor and can do it all using the published models. The second key technology is the model-driven approach. Together with automated API generation, we believe this greatly simplifies network and service creation. The templated approach to configuration change, along with the easy map merge technology, greatly reduces the amount of code required to roll out new network changes, 70% less than our estimation. By defining the service model, all configuration change related to APIs are auto-generated. If you need to orchestrate multiple services, this can be done as a multi-level service orchestration, allowing higher level abstraction of the service. Key capability number three is the comprehensive transaction mechanism AOC provides. It offers the ability to dry run playback of network changes as well as the verification of current network configuration. If an error occurs during network modification, it allows automatic rollback, thereby ensuring consistency with network level transactions. AOC can be de deployed in two different ways. By default, it is deployed as a manager, controller and analyzer. This will give you all of your management needs in order to manage, control, and operate the network. However, you can deploy the manager only, but that will require an upgrade. Huawei has an education portal that has numerous resources to allow you to quickly get going. A quick start guide that will get you going in minutes, some advanced tutorials that will help with driver or service creation, an API catalog so you can quickly find how to integrate with AOC, a developer forum where you can join our community and get answers quickly, and a download page where you can download some key software with lots of samples to get you going. Thank you, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation.